Good afternoon, Evolution Family. Today is Wednesday, November 9, 2022. It's a little bit after 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'm Jose Lambert of Archer Chapel Service. I want to welcome you to the Archer Chapel Wednesday training. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit, uh, well, one of my favorite subjects. And one of the reasons why is um, I want to touch on this because we haven't touched on it in about a year, year and a half. And it is really a cool travel product if you don't know anything about it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about river cruising and what you need to know. That way when clients ask you what it's about, you know, you have a little bit of knowledge into this, okay? Before the pandemic, we did have the uh, Emma Waterways uh, BDM come in and do a couple of webinar trainings. And I think probably for wave season, we're going to introduce that product again. Um, but it's a really, really cool product. And I, I've always been excited about it. And there's some new ships that are coming out that I'm going to show you today in the video portion of this that you'll be like, wow, you know, because this is a totally different type of cruise experience. It's not like your other cruise lines, and it's a little bit more intimate, but it's still a really great experience, and I just wanted to share this with you. So um, I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Buenos dias to all the agents in Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. And Aaron, um, Ryan is still with us. He hasn't left us. Hi, Ryan. Yeah, Hi, still today. here. And Carol's here watching me. She's babysitting me because she didn't <laughs> like my jokes this morning. So you don't like my jokes. I hope you guys like the jokes. All right, if you want a copy of this PowerPoint, all you need to do is at the end of the presentation, just email me and I will be more than happy to email you the PowerPoint slides. Let's go to the next slide. Do, 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 do. Archie Travel Tip of the Day, when booking hotel and car rentals, and this is going to happen a lot during the holidays. I mean, you guys are going to do this a lot. Make sure your client's credit card has enough to cover the deposit and the hotel incidentals. The hotel will hold the credit card like maybe 100, 150, or 300, it depends on the hotel that will hold it, okay? It's just a hold, they're not gonna spend it. But make sure that they have that, or else it's gonna be, they're not be able to get the car, they're not gonna be able to check into the hotel, so make sure that there's enough credit on that. For Group Air, please do not contact airlines ever. Do not contact airlines ever. If you want any type of Group Air, you contact Archer Travel Group Air. Uh, that L is wrong, that's a mistake, but Group Air, Arrow, Arrow. <laughs> contact Archer Travel Group Air. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Uh, want to get your commission. And I'm just forcing this this whole week. I want to make sure that you guys get this information correct. I need your help uplines, your silvers, golds, platinums that are bringing in new agents. You know, the sponsors and the recruiters that are bringing in new people that if they want their commission, they have to fill out the commission tracking form. They have to fill it out. All right, and make sure that it's done properly. If you get an automatic response email from us saying that we received it, then it's a win. If you don't, that means something was not submitted correctly. So please make sure that you do this. We want to pay you. This uh, past Tuesday on Coffee with Ron and Reggie, they talked about this issue. And we really want to make sure that you guys know how to do it. On Friday, part of the morning briefing on Friday is we're actually going to go in to the evotravelation.com website. And I will show you where the commission tracking form is and how you fill it out. Okay. So that's another thing. That's uh, You go to the evotravelation.com website, log in in the upper right hand corner. We'll take you to the user guide and you'll see commissions tab there, drop down menu, commission tracking form. All right, so that's that. Let's go to the next slide. I want to give you guys an update on what the latest is happening with Hurricane um, Nicole. Okay, uh, Nicole's forecast to strike Florida as a hurricane tonight with storm surge, strong winds and flooding and rain. Like I said this morning, this has not changed. This is still going to affect all this area, all right, of uh, the uh, eastern coast of Florida from Miami all the way up to Jacksonville, up through Georgia, okay? And then it's gonna be curving in through the Atlantic up the East Coast for the rest of the weekend. It's gonna affect the major airlines and the airports in those areas. It's gonna affect the cruise lines. It's also gonna affect theme parks. So please be on top of it. Let's go to the next slide, please. This is the latest slide that we've gotten. This is about two hours old. They're saying by 4 p.m. this today, uh, which is, well, it's six o'clock. That's it's six o'clock back east right now, so a couple hours ago, this is when this is hitting, and they're saying that this is going to track this way, 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. So it's hitting tonight into this area of Florida, which is Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Um, yeah, it's it ain't. <laughs> it's going to come in with a pow. So please, please, you guys, again, check with your cruise lines if you have anybody going out. Uh, see if they've changed the itineraries, if they've canceled cruises. Check with your airlines if you've got people coming to Florida to go on cruises. Like I said, it is affecting all the major cruise ports, and even including Tampa, as you can see, because this thing is going this really wide thing. This thing is so huge, you guys, 
Meteorologists are saying it's like, it's just like they've never seen anything like this. And uh, it's just been really weird lately, like Fiona and Ian that we had earlier in the summer, how like they would hit land, then leave, and then come back in. I mean, they haven't seen hurricane behavior like that before ever. So everybody's like, wow, usually when a hurricane would hit land, it would die out, right? But now they have a tendency to like hit land, then come back out, and then come back in. And this one is just staying in land, and it's going to be a bear. It's going to be a bear. It's going to be happening all through the weekend. Um, and it will be affecting New York, Boston, Philly, D.C., Baltimore, uh, all the cities off the East Coast. So just be aware of that, all right? Okay, so that's that. Let's go to the next slide. All right, river cruising, what you need to know, okay? Um, river cruising happens um, in certain areas of the planet. A lot of it happens in Europe, but we also have some of it in North America. So I'm going to show you that today. And also we have some uh, river cruising in South America, in North Africa, and I'm going to be showing you all that today. Like I said, if you want a copy of this PowerPoint, all you need to do is send me an email, and I will email these to you. Let's go to the next slide. Let's start off at the beginning. What is river cruising? A river cruise is a voyage along inland waterways, often stopping at multiple ports along the way. Since cities and towns often grew up around rivers, river cruise ships frequently dock in the center of cities and towns. You have to remember is that rivers were used as an economic tool, right? They created economy for all these little cities and stuff that they would come in from the ocean and start you know, dropping off their wares and their, you know, things that they, that they needed to sell or commerce or that kind of thing. So these little ports became like city centers and they're really something. So when you pull into these little ports, you're already there in city center. You're right in the hub of the city. Uh, and this is the same thing that happens in um, North America. When you go up the Mississippi, you know, those little ports that were built there, that was for economies, you know, like moving cotton and moving goods and, you know, uh, produce and, and, and goods, that's why it's always on the city center. So there you go. That is what river cruising is. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, river cruising brands. Okay, where, where can we find them? We can find them in ancient universe in their Avalon Waterways, Avalon, American Queen. These are the steamboat guys. There's also an American river cruising company, which is competing with this with American Queen. Uh, they're not on here, but I thought I'd mention them too because they're pretty good. Crystal Cruises no longer does the river cruises, but they are coming back strong with their Crystal Cruises. Um, Ocean liners, okay, Viking River Cruises, Emerald Waterways, Uniworld is also very big, Scenic Cruises, Talk uh, River, and Victory Cruises. My favorites are these two, this one and this one. These two are pretty good. Um, they really are the number one and two. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, this one's also very good too, very popular, but I really like this one a lot. I mean, really a lot, and they're really, really good, and uh, we're going to talk about them later on too, okay? Let's go to the next slide. All right, river cruising selling points. All right, first thing, what you're going to notice is less crowds. You only get about maybe 150 to 200 people max, and I mean max. They'll maybe have like 150, 175. They don't even get to 200, okay, which is on these barges. And it's really quite an experience. Now, that's great, but the problem here is that it sells out rather quickly. Like I'm sure Emma's inventory for next summer is already sold out. And what I mean by that is I mean that peak song, that peak time of the year in Europe, which is, that's primarily what they sell is Europe, but they sell other places, but they sell Europe. And of course it's June, July, August, those summer months are probably sold out. So you would have to go in the cooler months like October or May or April, and they do have them, uh, but that time of year in Europe, it's still pretty chilly, okay? More specialization, they have foodies and wine and music. You can go on one. A lot of these have uh, wine river cruises. All right. A lot of them are based to go visit wineries. A lot of them, though, are also for, you know, foodies and gastronomy. Uh, also music. There's a lot of music and jazz, uh, you know, river cruising itineraries that they have out there. All, the, all inclusive means all inclusive. And I mean everything. You don't pay for anything. Your excursions, your, your drink package, uh, wife, all that is included. You do not pay for extra for anything on that. It's all included in the price. Specialized shore excursions. These companies, they stop in these cities and towns and they already have their tour operators and their tour directors out there specifically aiming to help this, this crowd off this river, uh, river cruise ship to enjoy the area, okay? Cultural immersion, they know everything about these towns to help your clients really enjoy it much better. Luxury ship ambiance, yeah, big time. I mean, we're talking really nice. More personalized service because there's not, you know, it's not 5,000 people, 
It's only like, you know, 100, 150 people, more inclusive amenities, which they add here. So I'm telling you, this is the way to go. Now, listen to me, okay? This is a little pricey. Yeah, it's a little pricey, but you know, you guys book sandals and sandals isn't cheap. And you guys book Royal and you guys book, you know, um, Virgin Voyages. Those are not cheap. I'm saying, get to know this. This is great commission too. I mean, really good commission, okay? Um, and I'm just really excited about it. Even where you forget Europe, or even if you do like North Africa or, or, or North America, I mean, these are just incredible experiences. All right, let's go to the next slide. Okay, Rupert Cruz types and themes. Like I said, wine and music, food, gastro. Now they have this thing called the Christmas markets, okay? I don't know if you've ever seen the Hallmark movies, but in one of the Hallmark movies, they did one of these. And they what they did, <laughs> my mom told me about it. She goes, oh, I want to go to River Cruise. I want to do the, that's the mountain. It's too cold for you. You know, and it, it, it does get chilly. But they do have the Christmas markets through Germany and, and Austria and stuff where you go in and, you know, you literally drive, you know, you cruise right up to the city center and they have these types of things, right? This, this kind of stuff. And you can buy little knickknacks and things like that. Okay. Um, here is the gastro idea there that they have on that and historic. And I'm going to talk a little bit about historic themes here in a moment. Let's go to the next slide. Here's also another thing that they have. They have Adventures by Disney also has a family river cruise thing available for families and children. And when Disney was looking for a river cruise company to, to partner with, they partnered with Emma Waterways. And it is quite a, an experience there. You can really enjoy this. I mean, this is incredible stuff. They actually have these river cruises for on the Disney Adventures where you actually go visit like a castle. And you go in and, you know, go up to the battlements and all that kind of stuff. So it's really cool. It's really cool for the kids. And it's a different experience. It's not as big as like a, like a cruise ship, but it's pretty cool. All right, let's go to the next slide. All right, I'm going to show you now some of the places that these uh, cruise lines go. And they all pretty much go the same way. So uh, these maps I got from all, uh, all the different suppliers. But they pretty much all of them that I showed you in the brands do this. Okay, so this is the Danube, all right? You can either start here, okay, in Bolshofen, or you can go in Budapest, all right? But you go up and down and you stop here in Vienna, Austria, I mean, Salzburg. You know, you guys, this is an incredible itinerary. This is an incredible itinerary. Again, this is more summer-based. Remember, it gets very cool here in the, in the springtime. So if you go, you need a jacket or a nice pair of gloves or something. It's not like winter or avalanche, but it will get chilly. And as you can see, this is a very, very nice itinerary. This is like a seven niner. All right, let's go to the next uh, slide. I have a question. Since sure. the river goes one direction, is traveling one direction a faster trip than going the other direction upriver? Or do they both take the same amount of time? They both take the, the same amount of time. Okay. I because don't know they, if going downstream would have been. Yeah, no, because they, they got they, the engines that on these things. It, it, I mean, first off, it's, it's for sustainable uh, energy. They're not like it's, you know, they're not like burning out diesel and polluting the river. But no, they get through these pretty well. I mean, they do. Now, they had a problem over the summer because there was, of course, Europe also had a drought. And there were certain areas that were drying out that they couldn't go to. So, but now that the rains are coming, uh, it should be fine. All right, let's go to the next one. This is the Rhine, okay? And check this out, the Rhine River, and look at this, okay? You can start up in Amsterdam and go all the way down to Basel, or you can take Basel all the way back up to Amsterdam, and this is where you go through Germany, Cologne. A lot of this is, like I said, wine, okay? You go into like Heidelberg and you'll go up to wineries and things like that. Now, most of these wines in this area, they're more of the, the sweeter, whiter, you know, like the Rieslings and things like that, but they do have some dry white wines, but they don't have like the California, you know, um, what is it, the oaky one? Um, Chardonnay. Chardonnay, uh, and then there's a one after that. Um, I always forget the name of it. It's it's a red or white. The the white one. Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, that's you know I don't like that oaky thing. I I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> but anyway, okay, you can go ahead and do this. But look at this. This is a really really good itinerary, and you really get to see some wonderful things. Like I said, the excursions are included in this. A lot of these places, when you stop, they'll have bicycles that are already there for your clients that they can ride on bicycles and go through the town. So it's really, really kind of cool. Let's go to the next slide. This I want to show you. This one here starts in Paris. See? It starts in Paris. And what I mean by historic is they actually go to Le Havre, all right? It takes you all the way from Paris, all the way. And look at, look at this itinerary. Look at where you go. I mean, this is beautiful country. Beautiful. I mean, this is France. And of course, the dining on these ships is outstanding. 
they use local, you know, vegetables and what it was garden, you know, they buy stuff from here to, to, to cook on these ships and it's absolutely outstanding, the chefs that are on here. But uh, this one is very popular with the veterans and the older veterans because you can actually look here, go down here and visit this area here at the Normandy beaches. And that's pretty easy. You can do a, a, a transfer here, and this is part of this is part of the uh, the cruise. Although you're not cruising here, they're they're moving you by motor coach, but that is part of it, and uh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go to the next slide. All right, now let's say that you're like, no, I don't want to go through you know the cold areas. I want to be a little bit more warmer. Well, they have one in Portugal, okay, and Portugal has one going right up into the border of Spain. Okay, and this is called the Douro River. Now, Porto is a great city. And this is another thing you guys maybe want to think about. When you're booking this for your clients, don't just have them have one post, you know, free night. Do two or three nights. If you're in Paris getting ready to go on a river cruise, I want to be there for two or three nights. Or in Amsterdam. Or in any of these places just to enjoy it and, and, and you know, get, get the feel of it, what you're doing. Same thing here. Porto is a great little town. And you know what? This this area right here, this country right here, this is the place to go. I'm telling you. Rest of Europe's really expensive. This place is very affordable, very clean, very family friendly, very, you know, boy, you can stretch your dollar here. They have food, they have wine, they have culture, everything. I mean, I'm serious. If you want a, a different place to go in Europe and you're like, oh man, I'm tired of the Parises and the Londons and the Runs, just go here. Go here. You, this is a great place. Okay, Porto. Uh, a lot of things to do here. And again, you go in through here and then you come right back out. This is like a round trip type thing. Uh, but it is quite an experience. Here, uh, again, these are more wine uh, river cruises. So they're drier red wines. Uh, they're not very sweet, but they're have more like their cabs and their um, Pinot Noir, those type of, you know, drier wines that they would have on this cruise. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay, also, uh, Ammo Waterways and Viking and the rest of them also do the Mekong River in Southeast Asia in Vietnam. Yeah, in Vietnam. Now, with this one here, this is with Ammo, you actually get to go up to Hanoi. You, they fly you up to Hanoi for a couple of days and then you come back down so you can see what Hanoi is like. Um, I, my, my mentor, uh, Tama, who, uh, who, who I went through travel school with and she was my teacher, she went on this. She said it was quite an experience. It really was. But um, you have to go at a certain time of year here because it is very hot here. If you go like in the springtime, it, it's really hot and humid. And if you're not used to it, it, it can be rather uncomfortable. But it is a great experience. Look, you go to Phnom Penh, you go through all this area here into Cambodia and stuff and Vietnam. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's go to the next slide. Oh, this one I really like. And they just started this about four or five years ago. But this is the Nile, okay? And uh, they've been talking about this for years. And this one here is, you see, you start in Cairo and they fly you down to Luxor. And then you get on there and then you do that. You go to those cities and then they, they, they fly you down to uh, Abu Shambel. Yeah, this is a really, really cool thing. I mean, this is really cool. Now, as you can see, the Rhine still goes up, but it's just not wide enough for river ships. It's only wide enough right here in this area, right in here, see? So... That's where you want to make sure that, you know, your clients are about. But this is quite an experience. I mean, again, you guys do not, you know, oh, yeah, just, you know, give you a pre night in Cairo. What? One pre night in Cairo? No. I mean, listen, when you go to Cairo, when you fly in from the airport, you see the pyramids. <laughs> it's not like they're out in the, you know, they're right there. So you want to make sure that you have enough time to check that out. And you will see them. So it, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's something. So you really want to make sure that your clients are aware of this. But man, this one would be cool. I, I, I think this one would be really cool, right? Right? Oh, I totally would love right. to go on that. What, what do you think, Ryan? What do you think of some of these? I'd like to go on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you let go on? Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go to the next slide. Now, um, I just want to stop here for a second, but they do have some in um, Africa. They also have some in, um, so that was North Africa. They do have some in Southern Africa. And they have a safari one, which is a really smaller, smaller ship that only, I think only carries like 40 or 50 people, but that's more, a little bit more refined. You need to be more of a, an experienced river cruiser to go that one. Um, and now they have this one. Now let's talk about North America. Here we go, the Mississippi. Uh, America Queen and American River Cruises does this out of New Orleans and they go 
all the way up and then come back down too. You can do round trip, you can stop off, but this is what I'm talking about. These areas here, as you can see, as, as, they, as the economy grew, look, you stop at Memphis, St. Louis, Hannibal, you know, um, and these are really, uh, really, really good. They have a lot of fun. These are very pricey, by the way. Very, a lot of cuisine, uh, North American cuisine. It's funny, um, a lot of Europeans are taking this because they want to feel that, that historicness of it. Um, but they're coming here and they're enjoying it. And it is kind of weird. Now, paddle boats are a little bit, they're not as you know, slick as, you know, with the ships that I'm showing you, Vamo Waterways. They can be a little bit rowdy. And if the water's kind of, you know, you're going to hear the <laughs> you know, thing going on. So it's not the, the, it's not the quietest ship that's out there, but you will have a lot of fun. Great entertainment, great food. Of course, they have the whole casino on there and everything. So there's a lot of fun that you can have on this now. Um, so this is this one. Okay, let's go to the next slide. I want to show you this one. Again, American uh, River Cruising and American Queen uh, also does this one. Now, this one is a little bit more adventure. This starts in a story and it goes through here. This is going the Columbus River, the Columbia River, and you go through the path of Lewis and Clark, the Snake River there that you see, and it goes to Lewistown. This is really cool. A lot of families do this for their kids because this is a lot of adventure, and you're going to see stuff that you know, I mean, hardly anybody ever gets to see because this is really historic. Like I said, you go through the path of Lewis and Clark on their expedition. So this one's really, really cool. And this is available to book also. Now, this is also only seasonal due to the fact that it snows in this area. So you'll have to check your dates on that one. Okay. All right, let's go to the next slide. Oh, I forgot to show the Columbia one. Oh, um, South America. Do I have one on South America? Maybe I do have it on the next one. All right, remember, River Cruise Brands, where can I find them? You can find them in Agent Universe. You go to Animal Waterways, uh, uh, Uniworld, Scenic Cruises, American Queen, Steamboat, uh, Talk. Talk's really good, too. Uh, but you can find them there. You can call them up. They do have DVDs. They've got brochures, everything that you need to do this with. And I promise you, for wave season, we'll bring in the Animal Waterway BDM and she can come in and talk to you guys about that. All right, let's go to the next slide. I wanted to introduce this to you. This is one of their newer ships. This is the Amma Waterways Amma Magna on the Danube. This is a beautiful ship that they just got last or two years ago. Um, in 2019, it was delivered and they are getting more new ships in this class. So that's why I wanted to show this to you and just show you the unique way of how to travel on river cruises with Amma Waterways. Go ahead and roll it. In May 2019, Europe's regal Danube River will welcome another jewel in her crown, the Amma Magna. At twice the width of traditional river cruise ships, yet carrying only 196 guests, this gem has been crafted by Amma Waterways to meet the needs of discerning cruise travelers. The sun deck offers a pool, whirlpool, bar, barbecue, walking track, and plenty of spaces to view the Danube's rolling vineyards and majestic cities. The Alfresco restaurant at the front features a dining area with both retractable roof and windows that invites Europe's natural splendors and gentle breezes inside. A pop-up elevator provides easy access to the sun deck, while a water sports platform opens to reveal a sundowner boat and leisure platform. A view of the ship's decks reveals just how much luxurious personal space Ama Magna provides, with its mostly all-suite accommodations, measuring from 355 to 710 square feet and featuring full balconies. The main lounge is the place to enjoy entertainment, while the expansive Zen Wellness Studio is the place to get active or to indulge in a spa treatment. The Alfresco restaurant, the main restaurant, the chef's table, and Jimmy's wine bar restaurant entice guests with exquisite dining experiences. Built with the environment in mind, Ama Magna is an eco-friendly ship with quieter and more fuel-efficient engines. Ama Magna has been designed to take the river cruise experience to a new, unique level. Welcome aboard. I'm just 
just saying, okay? Now, I got that from YouTube. That's a great selling tool if you want to sell this to your client and say, have you ever seen this shit? You want to, you know, you've been in Europe, I know you, you want something different? Look at this. Look at this. This is quite an experience. I'm telling you, I had clients go on it. They were blown away from it. They were just, it was the best experience Somebody ever. Somebody wants to know, uh, is river cruising more shaky than regular big ships? Can you, can you feel the waves more? No, 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 no. It, it's, it's a lot softer. They're not going very fast. I mean, they're maybe doing two, three knots at the, at the most, you know, on a cruise ship, what you're doing at the most is maybe 22, 25 miles per hour. Um, but no, this is a lot calmer. Now, of course, you know, it depends if it's storming, you know, if there's a major storm that's coming in, um, you know, with a lot of rain and it's going to create a lot more, you know, the rise in the river, it might be. Um, I would probably have to say that it's probably rougher to go down the river in the winter months than it is in the summer months. But it's, a, it's usually a smoother ride, way smoother ride. And look at these. I mean, these are beautiful ships. I mean, they, they're just, they really are. Okay, anything else? No, that was it. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Of course, if you need anything, uh, all you need to do is contact us here at Archer Travel. There it is, eboecustomercare at archertravel.com. And there's the phone number, 818-248-1511, 1-800-511-1444, too many fours. Jose L at archertravel.com. And then there's Carol A at archertravel.com. Again, you guys, if you want a copy of this PowerPoint, it's Thursday. Again, you guys, if you want a copy of this PowerPoint presentation, there's too many P's in there. <laughs> PowerPoint presentation. All you need to do is email me at joseyl at archertravel.com and I'll be more than happy to email them to you. Um, join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time for Destination Specialist. Ron will be a special guest as he's going to talk about his journeys to Costa Rica. And that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of interactive maps. We're going to have some beautiful pictures of the locations that he was at. And we're going to have a great video to show you about Costa Rica at the end. All right, I'm Jose Lambert of Archer Travel Service. Good night, everybody. See you, see you Friday.